How to use Canva with AI Website Builder. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to get started with building your very own website using Canva. Now, Canva has recently rolled out several exciting new updates, and one of the standout features is the ability to create multi-page websites. Previously, Canva websites were limited to just a single page format. This meant that users could only build long, scrollable pages, which worked well for portfolios or landing pages, but lacked true navigation or sectioning. With the new multi-page functionality, Canva now enables you to create websites that feel more dynamic and user-friendly. This upgrade allows for clear navigation, better user flow, and more professional layouts. Whether you're building a personal portfolio, a business site, or a service landing page, you can now structure your content in a way that makes much more sense to your visitors. So, without further delay, let's go ahead and get started. Log into your Canva account. The first thing you'll need to do is log into your Canva account. Once you're inside the dashboard, you'll find a variety of options available to start your design. Now here's where it gets even more interesting. Canva now includes an AI-powered website builder. This tool lets you generate a custom website template just by describing what you need. For example, if I want to build a personal portfolio website to showcase my work as a photographer, I can simply describe that to Canva's AI tool. Just click on the AI website generator, type in your idea, something like a modern portfolio website for a freelance photographer, and hit enter. Canva will then begin to generate a base template that reflects your input. The AI will use your prompt to design a layout tailored to your use case, automatically including relevant visual elements and sections such as a hero image banner, a bio or about section, a photo gallery or portfolio, contact form or booking area. This generated layout gives you a solid starting point, which you can freely customize further. Once the AI-generated site loads, you can begin editing it however you like. Canva lets you replace images with your own, Update text to match your tone and branding. Add or remove pages as needed. Rearrange elements for better user experience. With Canva's brand kit, users can also maintain consistent branding across all pages. You can define your brand's color palette, upload logos, select fonts, and even swap assets directly from your Canva libraries. This feature is incredibly useful if you're managing multiple brand elements or working with a team to ensure everything stays visually cohesive. Add visual enhancements. Another great feature is the ability to add animations directly within your website. You can animate text, images, buttons, and other design elements to bring your site to life. This adds an interactive, modern touch that helps capture and hold the viewer's attention. So now, let's take a look at the template Canva is building for us. The AI tool is still generating the structure, and soon we'll be able to see a fully coded website layout, including page divisions, design styling, and initial content blocks, all tailored to the prompt we gave earlier. This is incredibly powerful, especially for beginners who don't have experience in coding or website design. Canva takes care of the heavy lifting, allowing you to focus on the visuals and storytelling. Now, in this example, I've only defined a very basic prompt, a portfolio website for a photographer. That's it. I haven't added any extra styling, color themes, or layout preferences. But even with minimal input, the AI has generated a clean and functional starting point. One of the best parts about using Canva for websites is that publishing is completely free. Even if you're using the free version of Canva and don't have access to Canva Pro, you can still publish your site at no cost. With a free account, you're allowed to publish up to five websites using a Canva subdomain, which typically looks something like yournamemy.canva.site. If you want to connect a custom domain, like yourbusiness.com, you'll need to upgrade to a Canva Pro or Canva for Teams subscription. Also worth noting, Canva websites are mobile responsive by default, meaning they'll adapt to smartphones and tablets without requiring any extra setup. That said, there are still some limitations in terms of advanced mobile customization, but for most use cases, Canva handles responsiveness well. Browsing pre-built templates. 
Now let's say you don't want to generate your website from scratch using the AI tool. That's totally fine, because Canva also offers a massive library of pre-built website templates you can use as your foundation. To access them, go to your Canva homepage, click on Templates, then search for Website Templates. This will open up Canva's template gallery, where you can browse through hundreds of different designs. Canva offers templates for a wide range of use cases, including landing pages for products, events, or promotions, portfolios for artists, photographers, designers, and freelancers, lookbooks for fashion brands and real estate showcases, media kits for content creators and influencers, service or business info sites for local shops or startups. This makes Canva a cost-effective solution for building a quick sales page, a lead capture form, or even a mini business site, all with minimal effort and maximum visual control. Reviewing the AI-generated site. Now, going back to the site we generated earlier, our template code is almost ready, and this is the first draft of the website that Canva AI has created for us. At first glance, the template looks professional and well-structured. The layout includes multiple sections that make sense for a portfolio. A hero section, an image gallery, a short bio, and a contact section. If I want to make any changes or additions, I can simply click on Use This in a Design, and then choose Website as the format. This action takes the template into the Website Editor, where I can begin customizing, adding new pages or sections adjusting images and text, replacing layout elements, applying animations or transitions. What I see now is the basic version of the website, and to give you a clearer view, I'll zoom in a little so you can better see how it looks on screen. Customizing the template. From here, you can really make it your own. I personally think this site could be optimized further by incorporating our own brand colors and typography. If that's something you want to do, simply go into the design panel on the right-hand side of the screen. Here's how. Click on Templates on the right, then choose the Design section. In the search bar, type Portfolio to browse more professional templates. You can also use the Brand Kit if you're a pro user to quickly apply your own logo, brand colors, and font styles throughout the site. This makes the design process faster and helps you maintain a consistent brand identity across all your materials. Whether you're designing social media posts, documents, or a full website. Once you enter the template section and search for portfolio, you'll see several different layout styles for showcasing your work. One of the best things about Canva templates is that when you apply a new layout to existing content, the platform automatically reorganizes your content into the new style giving it a fresh look without losing your original material. Let's say I have some content already placed in my project and I apply all the pages of a 16 section template. It's going to redistribute that content using the layout structure of the selected template. This allows you to experiment with different looks and aesthetics without rebuilding from scratch. Next, I'll head over to the styles panel to customize the template using my brand kit. This helps in applying cohesive colors and typography throughout the entire design with just a couple of clicks. Getting started with website building. Let's now zoom in a bit so we can clearly see what we're working with. I'll begin by removing the placeholder or filler content that came with the template. This helps clean up the workspace so I can focus on customizing the design for my personal portfolio. First, I'll update the main heading. I'll change the placeholder text and beneath that, I'll add a creative tagline like, then I'll rewrite that line into something more polished, such as, where life takes form in vibrant imagery. Now I'll delete the remaining default text blocks and reposition the section. I'll click and drag to select the design elements, slightly resize them and move them around to improve balance and alignment. I want the content to be centered and visually appealing, especially on the landing section of the homepage. Next, I'll go into Elements on the left-hand menu and pick a basic square shape. I'll place this shape across the top of the layout to act as the navigation bar for the site. After adjusting the size and positioning, this will serve as the background for the menu section. I'll now take the website title, copy it, and paste it over the shape. 
Then I'll resize the text, choose a bolder font, and position it over the top bar. Zooming out lets me review the overall look and spacing, adding images and visual content. Now I'll go back to the Upload section to bring in my personal photos. But for now, I'll be using stock images provided by Canva. I'll click on Photos, select a sample image, and insert it into the design. This gives us a visual placeholder for how the actual gallery or featured photo section will look. Next, I'll move on to the other template pages. Since this is based on an older layout, it uses a section-by-section -section structure, which I don't plan to keep. So I'll begin by deleting unnecessary content. I'll manually go through each page, select the image or section I don't need, and click Delete to clean up my canvas. Once I'm left with the portfolio section, I'll begin customizing it, creating a new page and setting up navigation. To add a brand new page, I'll click on Add Page on the right-hand side. Now I can begin designing this page from scratch using elements from my brand color palette. When you click on the color panel and start selecting from your saved palette, Canva will automatically harmonize the selected tones throughout the design, creating visual consistency across all your pages. I'll take one color and apply it universally to all pages, so I don't have to manually change colors section by section. This streamlines the branding process and keeps the design uniform. Now I'll go back to Elements, and since this will be the primary portfolio page, I'll start by adding a headline. I'll add a large title text, rename it to Portfolio, and position it prominently near the top of the page. To name the page itself, for organizational and navigation purposes, I'll click on the Page Name field at the top and click Edit. I'll name this page My Work. Now I need to link it properly in the navigation menu. I'll go to the top bar, click on the navigation text or buttons, select Link, and choose to link this button to the portfolio page we just created. Of course, I also want to make sure visitors can navigate back to the home page. So I'll build a similar top bar on the portfolio page, just like I had on the home page. I'll rename the header text to home page, resize the font appropriately, then go back to elements, choose a square shape, and place it across the top. I'll change the color to match the brand tone so that it blends in nicely. Once I've completed the foundational layout, I can click on Add Section to start building out the next part of my portfolio. To really bring my photography work to life, I'm going to use Canva's frame elements. You can simply go to the search bar on the left-hand panel, type in Frames, and then choose from a variety of frame styles to display your content. Since this is a photography portfolio, using frames is a great idea. They help showcase your images in a clean, organized way and allow you to highlight individual projects or categories visually. If you're creating a different type of website, say for a service business, resume, restaurant, or blog, Canva still offers many powerful tools and layout sections tailored to those use cases. You'll find pre-built content blocks, image galleries, testimonial layouts, contact sections, and more, making it easy to adapt your site to fit your goals. Previewing and publishing your website. After you finish designing your pages, you can click on the Preview button at the top right of the screen to see how your full website will look once it's live. Canva gives you the ability to toggle between desktop and mobile views, so you can check how your design appears across different devices. If you're not building your own navigation menu manually, like I did in this walkthrough, you can simply enable Canva's default navigation by checking the Add Navigation option. Canva will automatically generate a basic navigation menu for you, making it easier to link pages and improve the user experience. No coding needed. Once you're satisfied with your preview, your website is ready to publish. Canva lets you publish directly to the web with a Canva subdomain, or you can connect a custom domain if you're using Canva Pro or Canva for Teams. A few limitations to keep in mind. While Canva websites are powerful for quick, visually appealing launches, there are a few limitations to be aware of. No native form builder. There's currently no built-in way to collect leads or user submissions through forms. Limited SEO options. While you can set basic metadata like title and description, you don't get full control over SEO structure. No blogging functionality. Canva doesn't support blog posts, categories, or content feeds. Limited layout control on mobile. 
Although responsive by default, mobile customization is basic and lacks advanced flexibility. No export or migration options. You cannot export your Canva website for use on another platform. No native e-commerce or checkout features. There's no built-in shopping cart. So if you want to sell products, you'll need to connect a third-party system like Stripe or PayPal. So while Canva is not ideal for large, complex, or scalable websites, it is absolutely perfect for simple portfolio sites, landing pages, quick marketing launches, event or resume websites, creative showcases. The addition of multi-page support is a major step forward, making Canva a serious option for creators who need beautiful, fast, and flexible website designs without coding. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and drop any questions you may have in the comments down below. I'd be happy to help out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.